seven, eight, go. And, okay, we're here with Logan Larice, and we're gonna do our very special break it down. You ready? Five, six, seven. Oh, oh, oh. My name is Ali Kona, and I'm here to say, uh, take it away. Hey, I'm Logan, and I'm here on Hit the Floor. Season two, we bringing you more. Hey, out with us on DH1. I don't know, son. Son, where did it come from? From, it's really hot. Watch season two of Hit the Floor on VH1 on Monday nights at 9, 8 central. Thank you. 8 to the men. Ah. <laughs> and then watch our after show right after. Oh, yeah. Oh, after, oh, hello. Vlog After Buzz TV. You guys are on the set of Hit the Floor. We are on the set of Hit the what? Floor. This is pretty amazing. And of course, we're here with the beautiful and gorgeous mm. Logan Larice Browning, yeah. who is so delightful in person. But, girlfriend, your character is like unbelievably ruthless. You think so? I mean. <laughs> a little bit so are there any moments have you ever picked up a script and been like what and if so can you give me some of those from season one because i know you can't tell me about season two dude every moment when i pick up the script um season one was awesome if you guys haven't watched it there's this thing called the vh1 app and you can download it on your iphone or on your tablet and you can watch all of the episodes from season one for free as long as you pay for cable or something like that. Like, I have Time Warner, and so you just log in with your Time Warner, and it's amazing. It's just people always ask me, like, why aren't we on Netflix? And it's because VH1 has their own app. So, yeah, season one's amazing. Sorry, I think I just touched your, like, leg. I'm going to say it's your leg. And <laughs> he enjoyed it a lot. <laughs> and um, season two, obviously, I can't tell you about it, but I will say that Yelena, you're going to see another side of her, um, a little more human side, because in the end of season one, she basically breaks down. She, like, breaks up with her boyfriend, or you hear, you know, sh he's going to propose to her, but really he shows her these pills. It's a long story. Watch episode 1 through 10, season 1. <laughs> um, yeah, season 2 is going to be amazing. I'm excited, if you can't tell. <laughs> Just a little bit. Uh, okay, go for it. I have it. a question. So, based off of season 1, right, we really didn't see any, like, hand-to-hand, -hand hair pulling combat between Jelena and... I'm messing around. Yelena! Um, I'll, 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 I'll get it this season, I promise. Between Yelena and Asha. So, are we going to see any type of fighting? Possibly. He wants to see we pulled out. That's I what he wants to see. Out. I want um, to see the answer to your question is absolutely not because James LaRosa does not like the physical things. Like, you've got these strong female characters who can use their words and have altercations and use their manipulative ways, have altercations. Like, you don't need to see that fight. And there's so much of that already on TV. And yet, yeah, happens in real life, but it's. It, if, if our show gives you anything, it shows you that you can be, um, you can retaliate and have revenge without fighting. So let me ask you this. Even though your character has a tendency to be a little bit on the devious side, is there anything about her quality-wise that you think she has an amazing quality that you appreciate about her? I think she's pretty. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> no, I think she's okay. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, I'm totally kidding. I'm totally kidding. Um, dude, uh, she... She's consistent. I'll say that. She's. Uh, is, that's what I say about people too in in life who may be mean or may be nasty. They're always like that, and I'm like, I can't even be mad because I I know what to expect from you. So you know what you're getting with her. You know, she's an, she is an open book. And last season you came into After Buzz and we were talking about your experience dancing and you worked really hard from pilot to the actual series when you started taping. Yeah. Have you been taking classes? And if so, are you dancing a lot more this season? Um, I did take class from season one to season two. And season two, I feel like I have more confidence, which is, I think, the missing the missing factor in my dancing was was me being confident. I would always leave like, yeah, it was okay. And they're like, Logan, you did really well. And I'm like, it was okay. This year, I'm like, okay, I did that. Yeah, I did a good job. And I feel like that is what I was missing. And so, yeah. Question. Are we uh, going to see any more dance battles? Dance battle. When did you see the dance battles in like season one? Like the, the audition. Like the audition, the audition. Oh, yeah. Audition, right. That was really cool. Um, there are some battle moves in dances I don't know if you have like I don't know maybe you guys have to wait to see <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that's code for probably not but that's okay because there's you know some awesome there is some awesome stuff though like in terms of the dancing you guys are gonna be blown away if you were blown away by season one you're gonna 
go crazy season two. It just is like, obviously. Are you uh, doing any twerking? Because we spoke with some of the other dancers and they're doing a little twerking. They're, so are you doing any twerking? I think he wants a demonstration because they gave us a demonstration they too. Of us, course they, they gave a, a demonstration. demonstration. They twerked for you guys? They yeah, did. They did. Holy. Um, <laughs> go ahead. Go there ahead. is twerking. I will save my twerking for the screen. Um, but literally, Rooney sometimes will be like, he'll be like, five, six, seven, eight, twerk, twerk, spin around. Like, let's literally, in our choreography, is to twerk. But I mean, we do stuff like, we twerk like that. And we don't do, we don't do a lot of stuff. I don't know. What did they show you guys? What they, they did? A, they did an they upside did down twerk. 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 Can you can you guys show me? I mean, I mean I'm in a dress. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. Show me. Literally, you do the handstand. I can't. I mean, yeah. Okay, I'll hold. I'll you hold, and then. Come on, How did she just flip this? Like, I have a dress on. I'm a lady. I'm a lady. I'm consistent. I'm ready. So for the record, let's just say that I was willing to do it, and Nick is the one who backed out. He's the one who was. Listen, guys. You'll have to see. You'll have to see my twerking on the show because I'm not warmed up. That's why. I'm gonna I'm gonna ask you this <laughs> this question. This is for the for the fellas, okay? Fellas, this is for you. So season one, uh, we did see your character in some lingerie. You and Rob Riley did have some great intimate moments. Now it. that you are not with <laughs> Rob or with uh, Terrence's character on on the show, are there any love scenes that uh, we may see you in this season? Yes. And then are they going to be steamier than your previous love scenes? And or are they steamier than the love scenes between uh, Taylor and McKinley? Yes. Wow. <laughs> now, random question. Um, because on the DVD, we did see some bloopers where... Uh, no, you know, I'm not going to ask that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm not going to ask that. Okay. All right, cool. Well, it looks like we got a lot of really awesome information for you. Thank you so much for doing a dance routine. That was pretty awesome and amazing. Yeah. I was telling her. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, you were really good at that. Like For a second. No, no, no. You were being modest when I suggested this. She's like, no, I mean, I didn't get past my name. And you were like, (laughs) hit the floor. And plus it was a buzz. It was a. I was like, I'm just going to stand and I'm going to like do the gangster lean because I don't have anything else left to do. You do the gangster lean. You know? One more question. It has nothing to do with hit at the floor. Okay. But you recently uh, did a movie, Brotherly Love. Yes. Right? So can you tell us a little bit about that and when it comes out? And- I wish I knew when it comes out. I hope it comes out this year. Um, it is a film set in Philadelphia, Brotherly Love, about um, a group of high school students who... It's it's almost like the, it's a Romeo and Juliet story. So you've got two people from the opposite sides of the tracks, played by Kiki Palmer and Quincy. Um, why don't I know Quincy's last name? That's weird. Um, yeah, I I just know him as Qu- I know his last. Okay, oh, that's bad. I love you, Quincy. Is it I'm sure? sorry. Is it Quincy? Quincy. Yeah, but it's not sure. sure. It's, not, it's not, sure. not sure. It's not. Coming. I'm not sure. Um, <laughs> but that Quincy. Yeah. yeah. And so they basically play two people from the opposite sides of the tracks who both go to the same school and um, have a love connection and the it, Romeo and Juliet, you can imagine where it goes from there, I guess, with that story. If you know the story of Romeo and Juliet, which you should, because that's like history. Um, and I just play a really ratchet best friend. I'm Kiki Palmer's best friend. I'm ratchet and I'm like her voice of reason or not so reasonable advice. <laughs> Wait, what? Hold on, you play a role that's ratchet? What? <laughs> Shut I'm, up. <laughs> just kidding. Yeah, totally kidding, I'm guys. so ratchet in it. But do it's you, fun. Do you twerk in the movie? I do, actually. Um, the comedian Lil JJ, or Jay as he goes by, um, he, Jay Lewis, he plays my like boyfriend, and, and there's a prom scene, and we are twerking together. So can you can reenact the uh, prom scene I don't real exactly quick? remember how it went. Um, I, yeah, I don't remember. <laughs> I'm just trying to get, get you to twerk. That's really, that was that was second uh, attempt number I'm two. Really, I'm really shy when it comes to dancing. I'm not gonna lie. I get really shy. That's something about me. No one else is here. It's just it's just yeah. me and Ali Khan. No one's That's here. Just, no just one's just here. Three of us. Yeah. Right. In yeah, yeah. The world. <laughs> No. All right, so I guess I'm going to take the mic from Nick. Uh, <laughs> thank you so much. And only here on After Buzz, you get to go behind the scenes on the set with these amazing individuals. So thank you so much for joining us. And thank you for talking to us as well. <laughs> thank you. Bye. Bye.